telling us we now know the driver responsible was drunk. And they say a Jason Barnes of Tiger was hit off North Willamette in a tragic chain reaction crash. Our Jennifer Dowling is near the crash site where the debris tells the story. That's right, it really does. Portland police say that the driver was drunk and first he hit this little blue sedan here, pushing it onto the lawn. Then the driver traveled through the street there, swerved over, toppled over a maple tree before coming to the stop at the end of the block. And we believe that's where he hit the victim, uh, Jason Barnes. He was struggling with his injuries after he was hit there on one of the lawns near the corner. Now, witnesses say that he was coughing and uh, trying to talk, but really wasn't too successful at it after he was hit and later died, though EMTs arrived very quickly to help. The driver of the car, Kalen Breitenberg, remained at the scene following that crash. Ellen Ivan, a neighbor here, says his car was totaled. She heard Breitenberg smash into that blue car first. She ran outside and called 911. She says Breitenberg was able to get out of his red Volvo and was standing near the man he just hit. The driver is standing behind him with his arms crossed, not really doing anything. And when he came out, the first thing he told my mom was that he was slightly drunk. And he told everyone around him. And then the first cop came. Now, neighbor, neighbors speculate that Jason Barnes might have been collecting cans at the time for money. They say everyone puts out their recycling on Thursday, and it attracts a number of people. Now, police can't confirm exactly what he was doing, if he was canning or not, but they say he was definitely on the sidewalk when he was hit. Now, the driver, Breitenberg, is facing a number of charges, including DUI and second-degree manslaughter. We'll hear more from witnesses on exactly what happened coming up at 5 and 6. And this is just an explosive accident. They have some pretty scary stories to tell. Back to you.